So we, we decided to create an app called Roomy. And so this app is based off a social networking app for couples <laughs> called Avocado. And so if you, if you ever use Avocado, it's like just basically like couples can privately message each other, um, plan out dates, and just do other couple stuff online. And so being engineers, we decided we're going to extend this concept. And we extended it to roommates because we all have roommates. So, <laughs> so some of the features we decided to implement in this app are things like messaging, just like the app, Avocado app, um, to-do list, and bill splitters for things like groceries. And so right now we're going to demonstrate the dashboard. So here's the uh, dashboard, and this is like we design a uh, place where you can see everything that's happening with your uh, with your roommates uh, in one place. So right here you can see you can chat with your roommates, and you can also see, see a to-do list. So uh, this is updated live, so uh, you will say something right now <laughs> on another computer, and uh, hopefully you'll see it. Yeah. So you can see that. So you can use that to chat with your roommates and family events if you want to do that. So, yeah. other features is we're going to show off the uh, the bill feature. Okay, so basically the bill splitter <laughs> is something pretty useful for roommates. So, a lot of us do live with maybe three or four roommates. You go shopping every so often. Maybe it's not the most efficient to go out all at once and shop. So, maybe one or two of you will go out, buy everything for the entire suite, and come back. So, for example, a few weeks ago I went out to Costco. I got quite a few things for my suite, but one of my roommates didn't want to pay for a certain thing because he didn't like eating it. Perfect, no problem. I go into Excel, do a bit of math, and then easily some time wasted. So, we made this so that it makes life easier for you. So along the left hand side, you'll see there, that there's already a balance. That's because we've done, we have done some earlier calculations already. But, for example, let's go shopping this time. We picked up some apples. So let's add a cost for that, take a random number, $2. Yeah. We like eating apples, no problem. All right, whoa, oh yeah. So it's really, it's meant for widescreen, so it's not the greatest on small screens. So let's add something else, maybe we'll add quite a few TV dinners. Those are pretty easy to make, saves you quite a bit of time. Cabinet dinner or stew. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah, and let's add a cost for that as well. Yeah, uh, let's say 100. Okay, good luck, good dinner, perfect. Okay, so let's say, for example, um, let's say UA really doesn't like eating apples. So we'll take UA out of the equation, and then you'll see if we scroll down a bit to UA's balance, scroll down to the page, you'll see that what he pays is $25. The rest of us pay a bit more because he doesn't want that. So let's update our database, scroll down a bit as well, and hit update. Yep. And now basically it updates the balance so that it tells you how much you owe that person specifically. And so when one person goes shopping, they will, they will calculate the balance, and the other person goes shopping, it will cancel itself out. Yeah. So next, the uh, messages. Okay. So yeah, so basically it's very much the same features I will show you before, but here we can see the complete list of messages. And as you can see, we can upload something again. So like if we wanted to add a, another to-do item, that would update on everyone in the group's um, screen. And also we see that there's check marks for things that you've already finished. And so that also updates real time. And so those are useful features to keep track of things that you've done. And finally, we have a specific group for each, for each level. So basically, you can see who's in your group at this moment. Alright, thank you. Thank you.